Today's topic. All right, seems like the guys from Fresh Fit are really upset. We are better than you niggas, period. People want to know our thoughts. I'm gonna keep it really brief, all right? I don't have much thoughts on their platform. Are they doing some good things for some people? I'm sure, I have no doubt. I'm not even denigrating that. We just came at them for their ideas with regards to uh, paying for box and all this stuff. Thought it was full of shit. I'm like, yo, real ass niggas don't and pay for box? Even more, what I find really distasteful is you come to find out that Myron Gaines himself, right, the so-called pickup artist, the master, has his own Seeking Arrangements account, his own profile, all right? This is on the web, you can find it. This man's out here talking about, don't pay for box, don't pay for box. He's on a website for sugar daddies and sugar babies. Okay. All right. You want to be a giant hypocrite? Do your thing. Okay. Then you come to find out this man's talking about, listen, if you, we want, we want burning desire from ladies. Ain't that what they say? Right? You want to get their best. So you got to earn it. Come to find out, this man's telling girls in the DMs that if they want to come on the platform, they have to fuck. And if they don't, he gets upset about it and he gets all pissy. Oh, you fucked all my other boys. You won't fuck me, then you can't get on the platform. So wait, you want to bang a girl who just wants to come on the platform for clout? And you think that's burning desire? And again, guys, I don't even care that he does that goes about that way to bang girls. Do whatever you want. You earned your platform. Go ahead. Me, it's the hypocrisy of these ideas. You preach to these men that they have to always seek this thing, that this is the way to live, that this is the best way, but you don't even walk the talk. That's what I find distasteful. It's like a Derrick Jackson talking about be faithful to your wife. Don't pay for box. Come to find out this man's cheating on everyone. How are you any different? Can you tell me? Now everyone's going to get up. Whoa, you know, we're attacking people in the manosphere. I don't care about the manosphere. I don't care about none of this. Move with integrity in life. That's it. I'm not here about some scene. Oh, you can't go on this podcast. I don't care. At the end of the day, the truth remains the truth. When I came into the game, when I was listening to Patrice, we didn't call it Red Pill. We just called it the truth. These niggas is fronting on some points. That doesn't mean they're not helpful to you. Maybe if you're one of their fans, right? Maybe they help you with finances, fitness. Maybe even they helped you with game. I don't know. But all we talked about were these ideas and how they were hypocritical. Here's yeah. the thing. You guys been blowing us up, man. Yeah, you guys, been, you guys been blowing us up with DMs Comments. and everything. Apparently, uh, Abba and Preach decided to make a video uh, talking smack out of nowhere, out of left field. And, and, it's, uh, and it's funny. About capping and, and paying for box. And I was like, didn't we talk about this several months ago? Like, why are you guys bringing this up like now? Like, what the hell? We're trending, man. Yeah. The only reason we brought it up later is because we already covered a couple of videos from that podcast and the second one after. And this, we, we did both podcasts on the same day. The first one, and then I did came back later on for the second one. I completely forgot about the first one. So I covered the second one, and then months later, somebody sent me a link to it. It's like, hey, what did you think about this conversation? So I rewatched it. I'm like, hey, man, there's a lot of dumb things that were said. Let me cover it. It's not that deep. Okay, this whole idea that like, there's some giant conspiracy is not that deep. But anyways. If you guys wanted to know, that was why. We're trending, man. Yeah. We're popping right now. But then I did, as always, men lie, women lie, numbers don't, right? And then I thought to myself, why would they bring this up now? Uh, Chris, can you show Exhibit A real fast? Uh, boom. So let's see here. Uh, they got, let's see. These guys have almost a million more subs than us, guys. All right? So we're the blue line. We're the blue line. They're the red. They have 1.38, which is 1, 1, 1,380,000 subscribers. Guys, we only have 430,000 subscribers. Yep. Okay? We have literally like one th less than one-third of their joint, right? And we got 20 million views, and they got 14.9 million views. Ouch. Hmm. Very interesting for you guys to go ahead and make a video insulting us months after the fact. I wonder why. Oh, it's because we're hotter than you guys right now. All this talk about we make so much money. We're getting all these views. These guys are clout chasing. Bruv, when I came on your podcast, your podcast was far smaller. I didn't care that you guys were a smaller podcast. I was like, cool. You guys seem to do some interesting content. I'll just jump on. I'm not the type of nigga who looks at people and judges their value or their uh, perception of me based off of how many followers they have or how many views they get. We cover people who are far larger than us and who have way bigger platforms. And we cover people with 100 subscribers. We don't come at people based off of the size they following they have. We talk about ideas. If you think back about the video, when we said all that stuff about boxing this, it was on the topics. We didn't talk about Fresh's past. We didn't talk about him making press releases. We didn't talk about you paying for box. We didn't talk about none of that shit. You guys are getting so hyper emotional about this thing. It's funny to me. For so-called alpha males, you guys don't seem to have any control over your temper. Our, our, our channel's better than yours. Thanks. We get more views than you. We've been on less than you. We work harder than y'all niggas. We cut our hair more than you niggas. Like, yo. If y'all want to play girls, we get more girls than y'all niggas. Than all niggas. Free. Like if y'all really, really want to do this, this nigga preach is married, prior to a fucking beluga whale somewhere, <laughs> and y'all niggas talking shit. And how old these niggas are? Forty years old. Yo, yo, old ass niggas too, bro. Like, yo, bro. I wasn't gonna do this. Wait, the, the, the hand symbol. Yo, I was not gonna Hold fucking up. do this. The international. But y'all got me hyped now. <laughs> yo, 
I know you guys are not talking, bro. My man Abba looks like he got off a camel, hasn't cut his hair in years. <laughs> Dusty as fuck. Yo, bro. And this is Sudan he roasted on you right now, bro. We, bro. You Somali? Yo. I was like, yo, what anime you came from, bro? Now yo. Nigga looking bummy as hell, bro. I mind you, right? I ain't looking on a nigga, because obviously, you know what I'm saying, that's his style. I go like, bro. We're better than you niggas. We make more money than you niggas. We got a better fucking channel than y'all niggas. We get more views than y'all niggas. The only thing you guys got on us it's is numbers. you guys been on longer. But I guarantee fucking to you, next year, this time, we're going to lap you motherfuckers. Because you know what? Back. Nobody works harder than us. Nope. Period. We make more money. And, and that's the worst part is that I like I like to see, I love to see a black man get paid. Get your money. I've never get your money. If I your views are stupid, your views are stupid. But if you're getting paid, get your money. Yeah. That's not what I'm here for. There's not a single person that could ever say that we've ever feigned jealousy or gotten mad about other people succeeding. We move at our own pace. Yeah, we've been on the platform long with you. Congratulations. To me, it's not even that deep. You guys are doing well for yourselves. Good for you. It's crazy. I ain't never been mad at a nigga making money. This is about the idea. So all this talk about clout and all this, you guys have lived in Miami so long and you've been faking your lifestyles for so long that you think everybody is chasing clout, that everybody wants to be with an Instagram baddie. Your whole platform is based around clout chasers. So that's why your mind is warped. Miami's fucked up. That's why the girls you bring on, everyone's like, yo, who are these dumb broads that you bring on? Right, because they're all clout chasers. So you guys' mindset is all warped and shit. It's not like that everywhere around the world. Not everyone is about clout. If we were about clout, do you think we'd be covering things like this pandemic and all these other issues that fucking derank our YouTube channel? It's not about clout. At the end of the day, it's always about integrity. That's it. For us, it's about integrity. Whether we win or we lose money. Y'all dumbass niggas with the same tired background, same fucking million plaque. We got $200,000 plaques now. And we're going to get a million plaque. And we're going to get the other channel another mil to a million as well. And Fresh's channel going to hit 100,000. Facts. We are better than you niggas. Period. Fuck out of here, man. And we don't pay for box. These are the kind of like, you know what it's like? You know what it's like? You know, I, I love it that these guys call themselves alpha and all this other stuff. It makes me laugh because they got such bitch energy. It's crazy. Yeah. It's like when you're talking to a girl about a topic. <clears throat> you, ever, you, ever, you, you know, you're talking, you, you guys have seen this before. You know, you're talking to a girl about a topic and you guys are having a discussion and she's losing the argument. All of a sudden she starts bringing up, your dick is small. What does that have to do with economics? <laughs> it's like, they do the same thing. I find it so funny that these guys like think they're alpha and 1% men and all this other stuff, right? They lack integrity. They get upset at the most random stuff. When I was on the podcast and they kicked out that girl, one of the girls beside me was like, yo, you're being emotional. He's like, no, I'm not being emotional. I was like, bro, like, why are you screaming like this? No wonder these girls come on your podcast and don't respect you. You don't command respect. You just yell and get them kicked out. You think that's alpha behavior? The idea that you can't even get respect from these ladies is an in indication of the fact that you don't know what you're doing. It's hyper emotional. You're just screaming and getting mad. I'm laughing at this because it's pathetic. I don't know what's wrong, but every episode I see you just screaming, getting mad, screaming at ladies, railroading like women who aren't prepared with all these stats and numbers. That these ladies are like, yo, you want to come on a podcast? I'm like, sure. Uh, turns out that 8% of all men. Was, well, how does that have a way to have a discussion? <laughs> just chill, nigga. It's not that deep. I'm like, yo, real ass niggas don't and pay for box. Yo, here's the other thing, too. Bruh. These guys say real ass niggas don't pay the box. One's on seeking arrangements, the other one. <laughs> The other one is lying about having three girls at one time. Shut the fuck. The, the other one, you shut know, shut the fuck. You know, up. you know what kills me about Fresh? Like, if you listen to him, you know he has no king. It's, no. it's, it's painfully obvious yeah. that this man, like, even when you go watch the the, the 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 vlogs that he does, he's like, he has this whole thing. Don't lead with money. And like in his bunch of his videos, he's like, hey girl, I'm gonna shower you with gifts. Come on, we're gonna go shop for Lambos and Ferraris. I'm like, bruv, if it wasn't for your clout, you wouldn't be out here getting anything. Let's be real. So I find it so funny. It's like talking about paying for box. You want to know why this nigga doesn't want to pay for box? This is his experience. He went to Colombia with his niggas, okay? They went to a brothel. He saw a bad woman, and he's like, oh, wow. She's like, come upstairs with me. He didn't know it was a whorehouse because this nigga is so lacking in self-awareness, you know? He thinks everyone respects him. It's fucking goober, okay? He gets in, and she's like, $20. And he's like, you want me to pay? Nigga, you don't know a whorehouse when you walk into one? Where were you raised? You're not... I don't know how you could be a pickup artist and lack this much self-awareness. So he said, I paid the $20, I banged her, and I felt disgusting afterwards. And that's why I'll never pay for box. Bruv, if the first time you eat out is McDonald's burger, and you say you hate all restaurants after, that's not a problem with restaurants. restaurants or, <laughs> that's a problem with you. It's a problem with your choices. Here's the thing, the truth about this whole escorting and paying for box. CEOs, NBA players, princes, all of them, they all pay for box. 
They pay for high-end escorts. Why? Discretion. Expertise. Okay? I don't care how much your girl loves you and all that other stuff. If she hasn't studied sex, if she hasn't done all that shit, if she hasn't taken the time to really learn, she's not as good as other people. This whole idea of like, if she have enthusiasm, nigga, you ever been with a girl that's really into you and she's using her teeth on your blowjobs? She got all the enthusiasm in the world. It's never going to be a substitute for technique. The only niggas who are this dumb are men who not had a lot of sex or men who never paid for good box. Even Kevin Samuels will come in and say, I paid for box. I paid for women to come with me. Cause he's a real nigga. Patrice O'Neal pays for box. The highest niggas in the game, they pay for box. Not all the time, but sometimes it's convenient. Uh, so you want me to tell you time, that you but... working at your middle class job, you know more about what's being alpha and all this than the CEOs, the most famous and rich people in the world? Okay, so yeah, their niggas is beta because they pay for box. But you, right, working at the company as a minimum wage worker for their company, you think you know more about what it means to be alpha. Get him out of here. Just don't pay for box. Say it's not for you. It's not for everyone. It's okay. It's but paying $100 for a hooker and then saying, it's not as good as a random girl I met on the street. Probably not. You pay for shit. Sometimes you get shit service. You pay well, you get better service. It's not complicated. These guys talk like they're knowledgeable about this stuff. And the very people they admire pay for box. Go have this conversation with Kevin then. Go. Go have this conversation with real niggas. Go ahead. With the NBA players. The same NBA player that made you uh, bang three girls in one night. Just yeah. fuck up. You know that was so stupid about that, that story? This crazy. guy, man, wants me to believe he's at a pool party. Okay? He was Random pool party. He's at a pool party. This NBA player comes up to him. He's like, oh, oh my God. Man, do you know where the coolest parties are? He's like, yeah, here, here. It's he's like, can I, can, can I have can your, your Instagram? Can I have your Instagram? Oh, man, we, we fucked the same girl? <laughs> oh, my God, we, we was in the same pussy? Yo, Bro, I got, a, story. I, 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 got, I got a mansion party tomorrow. Why don't you come over and we're going to get it lit? So the guy, hold on. So the guy that was looking for the hottest party happens to have a mansion party the next day. Can't. The fuck out of here with your bogus ass. Party. So he needed your help to find a party in town, but he got a mansion party with 50 girls that are rolling through. And let me ask you, bro. Let me ask you, in this made up scenario where you're capping the fuck out of possibilities, you want me to believe that this man had 50 girls and none of them were paid? Hmm? You think that these girls that you banged there, supposedly, that you had all three, but you didn't want a threesome because you wanted to go one at a time because you were too awkward? No. You want me to believe the that these girls had burning desire for you? Of course not. They wanted to fuck the NBA player at best. They didn't want to get around with you. But you think none of these girls are paid? They pay for box. All these guys, these high value men, they all pay for box. So, man, listen. You guys trust what you ever want to trust. Follow who you ever want to follow. I don't even think I need to play the rest of the video. Conectar